Hello guys, welcome to vtchacademy.com and here in this presentation we are going to discuss introduction to trigonometry. So, here in this video we are going to discuss this topic under three different sections. So, coming to the first section where we are going to deal with the introduction part and in the second section we are going to deal with units of measurement of angles and in the last part, we are going to deal with the relation between degrees and radians. So, coming to the first part, where we are going to deal with the introduction. So, the word trigonometry is derived from Greek roots. Here, tri means three, gonia means an angle, and metron means a measure. So, thus, trigonometry means three-angle measure. So hence, we can say that trigonometry is an analytical study of three-angled geometrical figure, namely the triangle. So here, this is a triangle which is formed by joining three line segments. So, here this is the line which is a set of points in a plane and it can be extended from both the sides. And then, here this is a line which has an end point and it can be extended only from one side. So such line is called as ray. And the join or intersection of two rays gives an angle. So here this is the join of the two rays and the common end point of the two rays or we can also say the point of intersection of two rays is called as vertex. And here, this intersection gives an angle. So this is the angle of the rays. And the ray that form an angle are called the sides of the angle. And then, the two rays which intersect each other perpendicularly in this way, then it gives an angle of 90 degrees. So the angles are classified into three types. So any angle measuring between 0 degrees and 90 degrees is called as an acute angle. And any angle whose measure is 90 degrees then such angle is called as right angle. And any angle whose measure exceeds 90 degrees but falls below 180 degrees is called as an obtuse angle. And the rotating ray completes one circle then the angle made will be equal to 360 degrees that is a complete angle so thus here we discussed about angles and now let us proceed and discuss units of measurement of angles so for measurement of angles there are three known systems there are sexagesimal system which is also known as english system and then centesimal system which is also known as French system and the last system which is the radian or circular measure. So coming to the first system that is sexagesimal system. So this system is called as sexagesimal system because its division is made into 60 equal parts. And now let us discuss this briefly. So here, if a rotation from initial side to the terminal side is 1 by 360 of 1 revolution, then the angle is said to have a measure of 1 degree, which is written as 1 degree. And in this system, 1 degree is further divided into 60 equal parts and each part is called as 1 minute. And then each minute is again divided into 60 equal parts and each part is called as 1 second. So thus, it is briefly written as one right angle is equal to 90 degrees and then one degree will be equal to 60 minutes and then one minute will be equal to 60 seconds. So here this system is called sexagesimal because it is divided into 60 equal parts. And then coming to the centesimal system. So in this system, a right angle is divided into 100 equal parts and each part is called as grade. So a grade is divided into 100 equal parts and each part is called as 1 minute. 
and a minute is divided into 100 equal parts and each part is called as seconds. So thus we can say one right angle is equal to 100 grades and one grade is equal to 100 minutes and one minute will be equal to 100 seconds. And then coming to the next system that is radian or circular measure. So first let us define a radian. So a radian is defined as the angle subtended by an arc of length equal to the radius of circle at its center. So first let us consider a circle with center O and the radius R. Then take an arc of the circle whose length is same as the radius of the circle. So then a radian is the angle subtended by an arc. So thus a radian is a unit of angle measurement and it is written as 1C. Here the radian measure is also called as circular measure as it is related to the circle and note that radian is not dependent on the radius of the circle. And then coming to the next section where we are going to deal with the relation between degrees and radians. So we already know that circumference of a circle which is given by the formula 2 pi r substance an angle whose measure will be 2 pi units in radians at the center. So we get 2 pi radians is equal to 360 or pi radians is equal to 180. So now let us discuss this briefly. So this circumference substance at the center and the angle whose measure is 360 degrees since the terminal arm of the angle completes one revolution. So we get circumference of the circle that is 2 pi r is equal to 360 degrees and then transferring 2 to the right hand side we get pi radians is equal to 360 divided by 2 and here by simplifying we get pi radians is equal to 180 degrees. And now let us find the value of 1 radian. So in order to find the value of radian let us transfer pi to the right hand side we get 1 radian is equal to 180 degrees divided by pi and then substituting the value of pi we get 180 degrees divided by 22 divided by 7 and here by simplifying we get 57 degrees 0.16 minutes and also 1 degree will be equal to pi radians divided by 180 and here by simplifying we get the result as 0 0.01746 radians approximately. So thus a radian is a measure of angle and hence it is different from the radius of the circle. And now let us discuss an another relationship between the degree and radian. So let us consider a circle of radius r and instead of arc of length as r, let us consider an arc of length as l. Since an arc of length r substitutes an angle whose measure is 1 radian, so the arc of length of l which substitutes an angle theta whose measure will be l by r. So hence we have theta equal to L by R or L equal to R theta where theta is expressed in radians. So here we can say that when no unit of measurement is specified for an angle, it is assumed that the unit associated with is a radian. And then the formula connecting the three systems can be stated as D by 90 which will be equal to G by 100 equal to c by pi by 2 where d denotes degrees and g denotes grades and c denotes the radians. So this was the basic introduction to trigonometry. Hope you understood the concept. Do like and subscribe to vtchacademy.com. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day.